A violent crash killing two people, putting three more in critical condition. One of the injured, a sheriff's deputy. And the teens that were killed were high school students. At 5 o'clock, I'm Jeff Giannola. And I'm Elizabeth Din. Let's get to our Lisa Balick live where those students killed went to school. Just an all around sad situation, Lisa. Yeah, it really is. Now, all these kids went here at Southridge High School. Today, students got to class, found out what happened. Law enforcement in shock as well. Beaverton police arrived just after midnight at the intersection of Southwest TV Highway and Murray Boulevard to find this horrible scene. Five students were in a Nissan Altima heading southbound on Murray when their car crashed into a Mark Sheriff's Deputy patrol car. Deputy Michael Trotter was on duty at the time. The posted speed in the area is 40 miles an hour. Police say the teen driver had run a red light. Two student passengers in the Nissan died. Police tell us they were 17-year-old Matthew Amaya and 16-year-old Juan Pacheco Aguilera. Students tell me they found out when they got to school this morning. Our teachers like basically just said it to like all the classes. Yeah, yeah were the kids like who were pretty upset? Uh, everybody seemed pretty upset. And then when I went out into the halls, everybody seemed pretty pretty down. The driver and two other passengers, also students, are in critical condition. Deputy Michael Trotter, shown here in a photo with his son, is in critical but stable condition. Deputy Trotter sustained life-threatening injuries and has a long road to recovery. Trotter has been with the Washington County Sheriff's Patrol for nine years. While students at Southridge High are also dealing with the tragedy, I reached out to Impact Northwest, a nonprofit that does safe driving education for teens. They tell me teens are five times more likely to get in a crash if they have more than two teens in the car. Letting kids know that you can call in any situation, you aren't going to get in trouble, I will come get you. The Beaverton School District says counselors are at the high school to help students with a sudden loss and support for those in the hospital. Now, it's too early, law enforcement says, to reveal whether or not drugs or alcohol was involved. Again, they have a crash team that is investigating and expect to get answers in the coming days. Live in Beaverton, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News. So heartbreaking. All right, Lisa, thank you.